I was simultaneously enlightened and disturbed yes. when I came to this realization uh-huh. that Godzilla yes. in Japan, yes. within 10 years yes. of the dropping of the atomic bombs, yes. shows up as a radioactively influenced created the the radioactivity Mm -hmm. created him i was thinking to myself japan is the only country against whom atomic weapons have been used yes this is not a coincidence at all that's why i want to affirm here that that it it became part of their storytelling culture what are we going to do with this how are we going to come to terms with it yes so again, it's a way of sort of embodying your fears and the worst things that have happened to That's you. That's right. And personifying yeah. them. Think about environmental degradation, right? Yeah. The Godzilla was the result of, according to the mythology, atomic testing. And the physics of the atomic breath have been retconned over and over again. How does he breathe fire, right? How does he breathe this terrible right. Weren't stuff? dragons breathing fire? breathing fire before Godzilla did. Yes. But here, this, this is a different account. And That's also, right. presumably, the myth of dragons and the breathing fire long predates any human knowledge of atomic energy. That's yes. right. That's yes. right. And so the idea that this fire comes from that is very important. And, and it's atomic in nature. 